Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to line up form elements responsively, responsively, with Bootstrap. Uh, let's Now let's get your form input and your submission button on the same line. We'll do this the same way we did previously, by using a div element with the class row and the div element with use, within it using the column uh, extra small and then whatever number if we want. So we want to nest our forms text input and submit button within a div with a class of row. Nest your forms next input within a div class of column of seven and nest your forms submit button in a div class of five. So the submit button within a div within a class of row, your forms text input and seven and five. So seven and five. So that's like more than half, right? Uh, uh, 7 and 5 add up to 12. So, again, we're just uh, doing some more great bootstrap stuff. Uh, let's see here. Here is the last of the checkboxes. And here is the input. Uh, this, um, let's gonna, I'm going to stretch this out so we can see this more clearly. You've got your input here and then your button here. Again, I'm, uh, I enjoy having my code spread out so it's easier to read. Uh, and then, yeah, this is the end of our form. We actually are just going to be styling this area. Now, again, what we want to do, this is the, this is the last row. Um, this is the row before. And so we're just going to keep this up. We're going to make our third row. And so we're going to go div class is equal to row. Um, and then we'll increase this, uh, the, t um, the spacing so that we can see here. Uh, yeah. And then our button here. And so what we want to do is put the input in a column, right? So div class is equal to column uh, seven, uh, XS seven. And we're going to increase the, uh, increase that and then close the column. And now we should, uh, it's actually pretty well spaced out pretty right now, uh, just with that. So the button has moved up to the side. Um, and we were going to want to add the submit button also within a column. Uh, but obviously, 7 won't work because that adds up to 14, so that will move it back down to the bottom. So what we want to do is make this 5. And then we have the thing so it fills the space. I wonder what happens if I make this block. Interesting. It actually doesn't make a difference. Okay, great. Um, yeah, this should pass the tests. So yeah, once again, I think when you're when we're doing this, I used to get really hung up on the spacing and things like that. But when you understand, you've got your row, and then you've got your two columns. So you're you've got a row, and you put your two columns in there. You can do more 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 columns as long as the numbers add up to twelve, and that's how you maintain this responsively designed website. So here is our row, and within our row we have two columns. One and two. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.